I'm really excited today because I get to release something that I have been working on 12 hour days for the last couple months. It's called Backfire Plus. It's on the website right now. I have online courses, a brand new podcast, a community, uh, downloads, uh, and unfortunately, which is the subject of today's video, banned YouTube videos. Um, I don't know how much longer Backfire is going to be on YouTube. We're going to talk about that in just a second. I didn't want to belabor that, but there are a few things happening in the gun industry that are affecting you. Let's talk about one of those right now. It's our president, President Biden. So there was a horrific school shooting in Nashville, and Biden went to address the nation uh, on a pretty serious occasion, probably as serious as it gets. And here's what he said. First comments at his speech where he's going to address the school shooting. I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. What? And I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. You're starting this with a stand-up gig? I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. I'm not. God. Ben, how are you, pal? That's how our president is addressing this. And then he actually gets to the point, and here's what he says, first of all, that we need to do to solve this. We have to do more to stop gun violence. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. I notice that line is being said a lot right now by the gun control group. We have to protect our schools so they're not turned into prisons. And when you hear them repeating talking points like this, there's something behind it. And I wonder, like, wait, turned into prison? Well, actually, people, there aren't mass shootings in prisons, right? Everybody's in cells, right? And so I thought, why are they saying this? Here's why. You listen to Ted Cruz's most recent podcast. He put forth legislation a couple of years ago that um, after the COVID thing and kind of started to, to wear down, they had already allocated over a billion dollars to those schools. But the way that it was set up, that money couldn't be used to uh, add an armed, uh, armed police officer at each of those schools to improve school safety, right? So he put forth a bill saying, hey, look, the money's already spent. It's going to these schools. All I want to change is schools can choose to use that money to improve the security at the schools, including putting an armed police officer in those schools. That's, that was it. All the Republicans voted for it and the Dem Democrats blocked it. Well, an armed police officer at the entrance to this school would have stopped this issue, right? And so that's the talking point. That's what they're referring to. We don't want to turn schools into prisons, meaning we shouldn't have anyone there to protect the children. We shouldn't have police officers there protecting the children. What is going on? Seriously, what? Uh, this is this is just too much. Listen to this part. This is what he says we need to ban to prevent this from happening. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reported we had two assault weapons and a pistol, two AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. <laughs> Uh, two AK-47. What was it again? Yeah, ban it. We're banning it. What was it again? He doesn't even know what was there. There was no AK-47 in this incident, actually. So this is actually a perfect example of why banning assault weapons would do nothing. Three firearms were had by the shooter, the shooter who happens to be transgender. Well, you take away the AR-15 chambered in 300 blackout, she still has the carbine and a handgun. What would what good would that have done? How could that possibly have saved anything? Then we get to the press sec secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre. Now, the talking point that she likes to have is Republicans don't want to do anything about this. Is that what they're going to say to them? That there's nothing else that we can do? You're going to say that to the Uvalde families, the parents? There's nothing else that we can do? You're going to say that to the people in Buffalo? In that grocery store on a Saturday, doing what many Americans do on a Saturday across the country, that there's nothing that, we, that we're that we going to do. Republicans in Congress need to show some courage. Nobody's saying that. Nobody says we should do nothing. But she takes it a step further. She says not only to ban the guns, but to remove them. I just want to ask a quick follow-up. Um, in the last presidential campaign, one of the Democratic contenders said, 
that what he would do is come for AR-15s. Does the president support not just banning the sale and manufacture of semi-automatic weapons, but further than that, confiscation? Let's, he's happy to sign that legislation that says, okay, we're going to remove assault weapons. We're going to have an assault weapons ban. Well, for something to be removed, it has to be placed first, right? So she's talking about actually confiscating AR-15s across the country. So things look pretty dicey in the world, but also in YouTube. Uh, I don't want to belabor this and make this a negative thing at all. In fact, I'm really excited because I'm launching Backfire Plus today, and I'm excited for what I have for you. But there is a reason why I'm doing so. A few weeks ago, I got uh, this message from YouTube. They uh, put messages, warnings all over my account, sent multiple emails. They gave me a strike. So a strike doesn't sound like a big deal, but actually if they're going through your account, the machine looking through all your videos, if you get three account, three strikes in 90 days, you're deleted from YouTube entirely. But those strikes, you could get three in an hour if it just goes through your videos and finds something in multiple videos. And once you get three strikes, you're banned from YouTube, YouTube forever. So I was nervous. I got the warning from YouTube. I won't get into the details, but I did not violate the rule. I really didn't. I took off a suppressor, which I did not provide directions on how to attach it, even though it's just unscrewing, and it said it was a homemade suppressor. It just frankly wasn't. It was a dead air nomad. And so I didn't break the rule. They gave the strike anyway. What it meant is they deleted not just that video, but I had to delete 10% of all of my videos across the whole channel. A bunch of you have been asking like, where are your videos? How come you're not posting as much anymore? Well, that's why it's what's happened. Instead, I've put all of my efforts into something called Backfire Plus. I've been working on it for weeks to get this ready for you. So I hope you'll support Backfire so that it can continue to exist. Go to backfire.tv slash plus. I didn't want to do a Patreon where I just ask people to donate. I wanted to make something that was going to be awesome for you guys. So I just downloaded my whole brain. I've made a brand, a reloading course for beginners called Reloading Start. It walks you step by step in every video exactly how to do it, how to save money, the best gear. All of it is in there because I can't make reloading content on YouTube. For those of you who are more advanced, if you've been reloading for a while, I have a course that I'm super nerded, about, nerded out about right now that's about load development. It's, it's there right now available. You can sign up today. It's brand new. Backfire.tv slash plus. In it, I'm taking some things like the ladder test that have been taught for decades and is kind of the industry standard and putting it to actual real tests, data-driven results. And in that course, we just, we see, does this work? Does it not work? In order to actually create the most precise ammo. And I have worksheets that just work you, hey, you got a new gun? Boom, here's how to do it. Step by step by step, everything to get very, very accurate ammo. I'm really excited about it. But more courses, how to scope a rifle. Plus, I have more courses to come all in there. It's not just a library of courses, though. I want you to be able to talk to me. There are a lot of questions you guys are asking in the comments that, one, I just can't get to with them all. But also, there are things like, you know, brand recommendations of guns. I can't do that on YouTube. The rules prevent that. So I can do that there in the community. You can talk to me and interact. You get an app on your phone, everything. Plus, we have a new podcast called The Backfire Mancast. Uh, really fun doing that one with my wife, Emily. And downloads, cheat sheets, my targets, everything all in one place. It's called Backfire Plus. If you're going to support anything that Backfire does, please let it be this. Come join the community. Let's build an awesome group of hunters and shooters to get the best results we can, get the best results when we're hunting, and to support each other and the sec Second Amendment. Check it out at backfire.tv slash plus. I've put everything I can into it. Most of the courses are selling expensive, like 250 bucks for a single course. And I just, I think that's too much for, for guys. You know, you wanna spend your, your money on guns. And so I have a really good deal uh, starting it out until April 30, a uh, very aggressive price that I, I just want it to be accessible so we can build an awesome community. Thanks everybody for your support. It's a dream to be able to create this content for you every single day. We'll see you inside Backfire Plus.